came to DC 16 years ago, right out of college, for an internship at a lobbying firm, and I fell in love with the city. It's a very walkable city, it's a livable city, and it was exciting. The city has an energy that's really fantastic. Everyone who's in DC is here because they think they can change the world. And that passion comes through in everything they do, from investing in our communities, to working on national and global issues, to making sure that we have the best education system we can for the, for the children of our city. And that, to me, is the most exciting thing about living here. Education is really in my blood. My grandmother was a teacher in a one-room schoolhouse in the middle of North Dakota in the 30s. Um, my mother is still a teacher. She's a substitute now that she's officially retired. And both of my parents served on boards of education in South Dakota. In fact, they started a school district when our town wasn't being treated equitably. So education's in my blood. A state board sets statewide standards on teacher certification, on educational standards. We adopted the Common Core standards. We adopted the Next Generation standards. We're going to adopt health standards. And we really are a body that really thinks about education policy, not how schools run on a daily basis, but on what the best policies and standards are. Every single one of our nine board members are incredibly involved at the community level in what's happening in our schools, what's happening in our neighborhoods, what's happening to our students. And we, we are sort of the boots on the ground to understand what's happening on a daily basis in the education system. That's incredibly important to make sure that local and neighborhood voices are heard on a citywide level as it regards to education policy. The State Board of Education has launched a student advisory committee to hear from students in every single ward in both the charter schools and the traditional public schools. What it does is it allows students from different neighborhoods, from different wards, from vastly different backgrounds to see what it's like to other students in the district. What we need to do in the next five years is make sure that we're getting to the students who are underserved, to the students that aren't able to reach their full potential and give them the support that they need to be successful in life, whether it's career or college. Okay, so we have more and richer data now so that we can do, we can use that data to make better policies on a statewide level. We now are rolling out the new park exam. The students took park for the first time last year. We're gonna have results out um, in the next month or so. Those results are going to better inform us on what we need to do to make sure that students not only have knowledge, but develop skills.